Hello everyone, it's Strawberry Ellie here with my boyfriend Evan again and today we want to show you a little review of a backpack that we recently just got and if you watched some of my previous videos you know that we are traveling again and we got some new bags for that which we are really excited about and actually if you want to see how Evan packed his backpack I'm going to link you the link down below today he's just going to explain if he likes it and yeah how the bag in general looks like and stay tuned for my two videos on my backpack which come to you really shortly but I'm gonna give over to Evan now and he's gonna do the talking and I hope you enjoy it alright guys it's Evan here and I wanted to show you my Aeronaut 30 bag by Tom Bin we've been using this for now about for one month I think we've been on the road and so far I like it I'll talk about all the features the positives and the few negatives that I have with the bag as well so to start off, the bag is a duffel bag, but it also converts into a backpack, which I'll show you later. And the material is made from a halison material, I believe. It's very sturdy and durable, and it's also waterproof, so when I'm walking around in the rain, nothing gets wet inside of the bag. There's many grab handles on the outside of the bag here, and two here, which are great for when I need to grab it on the go or just pull it around somewhere. Also, there are some zippers on the outside, as you can see here, which are very high quality, and they don't get caught whenever you're zipping anything up. So I zip it right here, and the bag doesn't get caught anywhere. And so the bag has three main compartments, I would say. It has two on the outside, so one right here, one right here, and then the compartment in the middle. The two outside compartments are very big. They also have these O-rings on the inside, right here, which you can see, where you can strap a, a hook to it or any type of tie to hold any small items like a pouch or small passport or anything like that in place. It's the same on this side as well. It has an O-ring and I just have one of these S-hooks attached to it there, as you can see. So then in the main compartments, right here, which we fold open, it is quite large, it's like a duffel bag. There's a handle right here. Also, there are two O-rings at the top where you can just put a snap hook or other little carabiner or anything like that on it. There are also these two tie-down straps right here that you can just hook and unhook. And you can put in larger clothing items like a jacket or even fold up a small yoga mat, a thin and light yoga mat there and just strap it in and it compresses it so it takes up less space and it's a good cushion for your back as well. There like that and the jacket is in there and it doesn't take up much space. It's compressed, it's folded down and yeah, it works out quite well. Next, we move on to the mesh pouch at the top flap of the bag, which you can see right here. And as you can see, it is a mesh compartment there, so you can see right through it. And I like to slide in some small things that are easy to grab, like headphones, cell phone, zips up easily, and you can see what's in there. And I really like this pouch because it's a lot bigger than it seems, and you can fit quite a lot in there. Now, moving on again here. We have within the main compartment these zippered flaps which can be unzipped and unhooked on both sides. You can do one or both on either side and you can extend the main compartment of the bag to make it a lot wider and so you can fit larger items in there as well. So you can even fit in more clothes or a one large item into the main compartment. It does take up the space from the side compartments though so they become a bit smaller on the ends. But that's okay though. So now I'm just gonna zip back up these little flaps right here that are easily convertible. And then I'll show you what I put into the side compartments as well, because when these are zipped up, they're quite large. And I can easily fit in multiple packing cubes. I sometimes put some clothes in here, so I can put one or two packing cubes in here and it still has a lot of space. Put shoes in here or larger items that you want to keep separate from the rest of your clothes right here. And actually on the outside of each of the end compartments is another quite large um, deep pocket. It's not too thick but you can put some items in here like flip flops or if you have like uh, pencils or pens or stationary items right here as you can see so it goes all the way down. I actually put my zero shoes in here. They fit perfectly and it keeps the dirty shoes away from the rest of my clean clothes. So I'm gonna zip up the bag here now and show you how it looks when it's completely closed. One thing I really like about the bag as well is that it's not too heavy when it's unpacked. Like the materials itself are quite lightweight and I think the bag is only one kilo 
when it's um, completely empty, so it, that's not too heavy to carry around as well. So this is what it looks like fully zipped up. And actually on the outside here are these two hooks where I can put on a shoulder strap to carry the bag. And I got this shoulder strap as well from Tom Bin. It's made for their bags. It easily clips on to these, I think they're called D hooks right here. So I just clip one there. And clip one here as well as you can see. And then the bag easily converts into a duffel bag and I can just throw it over my shoulder and walk around for the day. But if I'd rather carry it as a backpack, I can also turn the bag over like this here. And I have these backpack straps tucked in here that come with the bag as well. I just pull them out and I put them into these hooks. So there's one right here. And then there's one on the other side as well, which I'll show you. Clip it in right here. And then I can walk around with a backpack, which I prefer to do, and it also has the shoulder strap. I just like carrying it that way when I'm fully packed. And the last thing that I want to show about the bag is that when I pull the backpack straps out, I have this nice big compartment here, which I can easily slide a laptop into or an iPad or any larger item that's very thin, maybe some paperwork or a binder to keep it separate from the rest of my backpack and it's padded on both sides so it's very well protected and it's a very deep pocket. It runs the entire length of the bag as well. And that is it for the Aeronaut 30 bag by Tom Bin as you can see right here. Alright guys, so you saw what the Aeronaut 30 bag by Tom Bin looks like and I just want to talk about some of the positives and negatives from the bag. One thing that I really liked about the bag is the quality of the bag. It's made in America and it's very well put together. Things don't fall apart. It has a lifetime guarantee as well, so if anything falls off or breaks, you just send it back to them and they'll fix it. Also, I like that it's convertible between a backpack and a duffel bag. I wear it both ways. Uh, when it's a bit heavier, I wear it as a backpack, but when it's not so stuffed, I just throw it over my shoulder as a duffel bag with the strap. Again, I got this strap right here from Tom Bin. You don't have to get one from them, but I really like it and it fits well on my shoulder and it doesn't slide off because it's kind of sticky on one side here. Also, another feature that I like is that I can extend the duffel bag and make it a lot bigger by moving open the flaps in the bag. And also, I like to put in packing cubes in here. I really like using packing cubes. I don't have the ones by Tom Bin. You can get them from them, but I just have some other ones that I've been using for many years. And I like to keep things organized, which the bag is really good for. I don't like filling it up too much. I like keeping it somewhat empty so it's not too full and stuffed when I'm walking around or too heavy. So this is a good size bag for me. One thing that I did not like about the bag is that there's really no dedicated laptop space unless you want to use the back of the bag where you put it in the backpack straps. That's a good spot for the backpack, but in the main compartment, there's no real space for that. Also, I wish there was maybe like one little small pocket on the outside of the bag that I could easily just grab my phone or put my phone and wallet into when I'm traveling or going through security at the airport instead of having to unzip the entire bag and stuff everything inside there. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you got some good ideas from our packing video as well in the past. We're going to do more review videos in the future with Ellie's backpack and she'll show you what she's taking on her trip. So stay tuned for more videos and we both will see you in our next one. Bye!